Robert Plant shares some dear memories of the king of rock and roll. I'm John Bowden from rockhistorymusic.com. When you think of Led Zeppelin, the next performer that comes to mind would not be Elvis Presley. But Robert Plant says he has some fond memories of Elvis Presley going way back to when he was a kid. Elvis was born in 1935. Robert Plant was born in 1948. There's 13 years between them. In 1956, when Elvis released his first and biggest box office movie hit, Love Me Tender, Robert Plant was only eight years old. Plant told Howard Stern this past week that he was really influenced by Elvis, saying, I don't know what he danced like, to be honest. I just knew the voice. It was celestial. Plant says back then he didn't have access to any Elvis movies. He just used his imagination. Now, by the 70s, the roles had really reversed. It was Elvis that was curious about Zeppelin and Plant. He told Howard Stern he knew that we were selling tickets faster than him, and he wanted to know what kind of phenomenon this was. So the group was invited to an L.A. hotel, and Robert Plant says all the young women in the hotel suite looked like actress Sandra D. He says when the room was suitably full, when the room was buzzing with anticipation, the door opened, and this guy just, I don't know what the word is. It's not sachet, it's not slink, he just grooved his way through people. The cool thing about the meeting though, Robert Plant says he and Elvis Presley talked about music for hours and Plant says he wasn't nervous at all. Elvis died on August 16th, 1977. He was only 42. If he had lived, he'd be 82 today. Robert Plant is 69. He says it was a car crash in Greece in 1975 that kind of changed his life. Like Elvis, he lived a life of excess, but after that accident, he said he wanted to live life fully every single day. Quote, why waste a second of time after that? Drugs I have no interest in. It got in the way of joy. And excess, of course, as we know, certainly killed their drummer in 1980 after a hard day of drinking John Bonham died by drowning in his own vomit. Plant says he was a loose cannon, but what a spectacular guy. Robert Plant's new album, Carry Fire, was released just last week. Get more information at robertplant.com. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you share our video, subscribe to our channel, and comment on our videos. This is Rock History Music.